All right, we got to talk about Samsung. What I'm seeing in the new S24 Ultra is really impressive. Samsung loves to maximize features in its top tier phones. And this time Samsung is pushing the boundaries even further because of Galaxy AI. So you get an abundance of features that improve productivity, enhance image editing, and inject a bit of fun into the smartphone experience. But don't take my word for it. I'm gonna show you what I mean next. Now, Samsung has long been known for throwing everything and the kitchen sink into its smartphones. And at times, I'll admit it felt like too much, but over the years, Samsung has really worked on how it presents those ideas to get to a point where its devices don't feel like a constant stream of useless features. And rather, Samsung software smarts, you know, they actually supercharge the user's mobile life, especially if you're willing to commit to its ecosystem, kind of like Apple, but for Android. Well, this year, the year of AI, as I like to call it, it's kind of the perfect moment for Samsung and honestly, most other smartphone companies because this gives them a new opportunity to bring some delight and, you know, wow, back into the smartphone experience. I've been using the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra for two months now. And of all the Galaxy AI features on the device, these are a few of those wow moments that I've noticed. First is instant slow-mo. Now, if you recorded a video that would have been so perfect in super slow-mo, well, it's really hard to go back and shoot it again the right way, right? But Samsung has your back with instant slow-mo. You just tap and hold on a video from your camera roll during playback, and after a second, it's gonna snap into slow motion mode. And you can actually save the slow-mo effect by tapping the pencil and editing the clip there with this cool feature. Now. Anyone can take any old video and play it back at a slower speed, but you're still gonna be stuck with the original frames. And that usually means that you get a choppy slow motion effect. But with instant slow-mo, the S24 Ultra is literally creating new frames using generative AI to fill those gaps. That results in a much smoother slow motion effect. Now, is it as good as video shot at high speeds to produce true slow motion? No, but it gets you much of the way there and it's dead simple. Now, Galaxy AI is deeply integrated into the photo capabilities on the S24 Ultra, and it's super easy to get to. Just tap to edit the photo, and then look for that familiar cluster of stars button, which switches into the Galaxy AI mode. You know, Galaxy stars, pretty obvious. And now there are a few cool things you can do to your pictures. You can tap an object in the image, and after a second, that object will be selected. If you didn't quite get everything you hoped for, just tap the next thing to add it to your selection. And with that, you can tap and hold and then release to then select erase and you can remove it entirely from the image. Then just hit the generate button and that empty area will be filled in generatively. You can also tap and hold the selected person or object in your photo and drag them anywhere you want in the image, tap to generate and voila. And this is super cool. If the image is lopsided, like this picture from my backyard, you can correct for that with the rotation slider down below. And all of that empty space is filled in contextually with the generate button. Not always perfect, but still very cool. In the age of AI, being lazy isn't quite so bad. And Galaxy AI's web page summarization feature is a great example of why that is. If you're presented with a web page or an article inside Samsung internet that you want to know all about, but you don't want to take the extra 10 minutes to read through it with your own eyes, you just tap the star icon in the toolbar at the bottom of the screen and pick the summarize function. Then marvel in the tight, concise summarization that appears after a few moments of on-device analysis. If it's a bit too concise for your liking, you can actually tap the little settings button and then choose a detailed summary, which kicks it back into gear and creates eh, just a bit more comprehensive of a summary for you. It's like an instant Cliff's Notes button, and it's pretty good. Now, as with everything generative AI, it's certainly not perfect every time. You don't wanna go quoting something from this summary in your own article, you know, do your research, but it's a great way to catch up to speed on the highlights when you are short on time or patience. 
Okay, this feature has me truly excited. Now, meetings can be very stressful, for me anyways. My brain doesn't always keep track of important moments or those details. I'm constantly typing as much information as I can so it's not lost along the way. But that takes me out of the conversation. Samsung's voice recorder app now has the ability to transcribe entire meetings for you. And the best part is that this analysis happens on device, but it's not instantaneous. A 60 minute meeting took me around seven minutes to transcribe. And once that's done, I can once again fire off the summarization capabilities of Galaxy AI to get a shortened version of the discussion. Now it's probably best not to rely entirely on this summary, it's likely to miss some details or moments that you find incredibly noteworthy, but it is a fantastic start. I really love this feature. Now I mentioned my need to type everything into notes in order to be sure that I don't miss something. Okay. Organizing all of that information is yet another of those things that can be a bit of a chore after the fact. With Samsung Notes, you just tap the Galaxy AI stars and you get a host of useful features to do the heavy lifting for you. Auto format can turn the notes into headers and bullets, complete with multiple options to choose from. When you swipe left and right, you can see the different ways that, that it does this. Summarize, once again, attempts to shorten down the notes to the good stuff. And yes, you can translate that text into another language as well. Now these features make me want to copy paste my notes from other apps into here just to get this cool stuff on the device. And hey, if you're enjoying this video, please subscribe to the channel so you won't miss anything else going forward. It really helps me out. And I have a lot of cool stuff planned. Okay, back to Galaxy AI. Man, this is one of my favorite new features to come to Android phones. And it really is a great flex for Google search, but it came first to the S24 series. Circle to search is quite simple. And that's really what makes it so great. Anything showing on your phone is searchable. A text message thread, a web page, a photo you snapped, app icon, anything. You just tap and hold the home button or the gesture nav bar and the screen will flash. Now tap on the item that you want to search that's on your screen or as the name implies, draw a circle around it. That will trigger a search query via image object recognition. And you might not find exactly what you're looking for, but I've used this to find things that were pretty nondescript and it was totally clutch. Wallpaper selection has long been a key customization point for smartphones. Galaxy AI is taking it one step further by offering its generative capabilities to the home screen. Now, when you choose to change the wallpaper, look for the creative section. It even calls out generative below it so you don't miss it. Now, there are a few categories to start things off. I'm gonna go ahead and choose imaginary as my starting point. And from here, it's almost like a game as you choose different modifiers for different parts of what is effectively the prompt for Galaxy AI's wallpaper generation. A surreal uh, castle made of uh, amethyst in shades of yellow and teal. Okay, tap generate and it gets to work on creating three outputs that match your prompt. And you can actually keep generating until you find one you like. And the best part here is as these are generative, there are no other wallpapers like the one you just created. Truly unique. Now, speaking of wallpapers, you can take things a step further than before, but it is an experimental feature. So first go into settings, then find labs, and find photo ambient wallpaper and make sure it's set to on. Now, in the creative section of the wallpaper customizer, there's a new option that you'll find for photo ambient. Hit that and then pick out a photo from your camera roll. And once you have that in place, you can test this new feature by hitting the play button in the bottom left of the screen. And now you'll see what will happen on your wallpaper and your lock screen if your local weather actually shows rain and even snow outside. It's a cool way to tie in your immediate world with memories stored on your device and integrated, it looks really cool. Now, one more thing of note, often AI like the stuff found in Galaxy AI relies on data being sent to the cloud for off device processing. Now, much of what Galaxy AI is doing here is in fact done on device. 
but not all of it is. There's a setting that you should check if you are put off by your data zipping off to Samsung's cloud for processing. Go to settings, then advanced features, then advanced intelligence, and toggle on process data only on device. This keeps any AI processing from going out to the cloud, though it does come with a trade-off. Samsung warns that this will actually reduce the quality of certain AI features and other features downright won't be offered uh, if they rely on the cloud at all. But that's peace of mind for those of you who require it. And one final note, when the S24 Ultra came out, Galaxy AI was limited to the S24 series, but in recent weeks, Samsung brought Galaxy AI to other devices, including the Galaxy S23, S23 Fan Edition, Z Fold 5, Z Flip 5, and Tab S9 series. And right before publishing this video, Samsung announced yet another string of its devices to get a hold of Galaxy AI. Now it includes the S22 series, Z Fold 4, Z Flip 4, and Tab S8 series tablets. Samsung's going nuts with Galaxy AI, and that's a great thing. So many of these features can be enjoyed by even more Samsung super fans. Maybe that's you. Thanks for watching this video. Please let me know what you think about these features. Maybe even leave a comment down below. Maybe I missed something that you absolutely love about Galaxy AI, or maybe you think this stuff is overblown. I'd really love to hear it, and I promise to respond. All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.